Hello, hello, welcome everybody, good to see you all, welcome to the stream. Got a lot of people in the chat, a lot of co already viewers as well, what's going on? Welcome MSG, Claudi, Geoff, um, Sarah, Chevy, Herman, um, Yurisu, TK, Golden Gag, uh, Tim, let me see who else, Midnight, Forking Crazy, Big Fat Snake, <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Wombat, uh, welcome. Anybody else? Old Explorer, uh, Jared, and I think that should be it. If I missed anybody, just say hello again. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Spons, welcome as well. So, yeah, today we're going to be doing some uh, some testing with the uh, breeder. I, I just don't have, I didn't have the time to do any testing, just off stream. So I decided just to do it on the, during the stream. Um, I'm pretty sure we will not have anybody in, this, in the game. Uh, I know Gigi is going to join me in the, um, in the chat, but uh, I think... Uh, I don't think we're gonna have anybody else joining us except for Gigi in the chat, which is okay. It's just uh, you know, focus has been uh, shifted a bit to other games, so that's okay. Uh, Yup, welcome, tranquil, tranquil, tranquil C, welcome as well. Um. So let me uh, join the uh, server here. And then we'll switch to the um oh wang there went yeah they are although i i have not is, is uh, jason doing it on um twitch maybe i don't know hey jan welcome cheers everyone I've not seen a lot of uh, Jason, so he might be streaming it on Twitch. I don't know. Um, should I get some food? Just, you know, just being sure, because we're going to have... I'll jump in the chat in a second, uh, GG. Um, I just to get some food... And then I'll just talk to... He's on Twitch right now? Okay. Now oh, let's just take... more food with us. We're gonna need food. We're gonna need food. I think it might... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's go back. Started my first Valheim build of 2023. You got your PC back, MSG? That's good to hear, man. Um... So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to take a portal. I don't know, did I leave my portals in there, in the farm? I need some stone, we need some wood as well, so I'm going to need uh, a quick access to my um, lumber yard. So GG should be uh, doing his brine uh, preparations for his stream. No, I don't have portals here. Uh, I just need a quick portal. But let me just show you what uh, what I'm working on, and then I can jump in the chat with uh, with GG. Um. 
wait, I needed to be here, damn it. Go back. Should be BB Plains Farm. Mistlands Plains. Yesterday in a cheesy way, but at least, uh, yeah, uh, Jan, these soldiers are no joke. And uh, if you come across one star soldiers, man, they are a tough cookie. What is... Did you hear that? The clunk? I heard clunk like somebody is attacking my uh, stone. Um, so what, what I've been doing here, I built a, um, let me see, can I get on the roof just to show you what is going on here? There we go. I think it might be the, um, uh, the Skittles. No? You're pretty nervous, aren't you? Ugh, forget it. Um, anyway, so, um, I've been, I've been raising the terrain here, as you can see, uh, in a wall. And I also am starting to build a stone wall on top of it, um, which is going to be my protection because you never know. I got a few uh, locks in here. Uh, here, right down. Can you see this? Yes, you can see better than I do. Uh, there's a few locks down here that I uh, tamed and already bre bred with as well. So the only thing I need to do now is create a breeder uh, that is working. That's the plan. So let me just jump back. Let's sleep, and in the meantime, I'll jump in the chat in the chat with uh, Gigi if he's there. Um, uh, authorize. There we go. Hello, Gigi. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you going to get those tamed ones out of that pit? I'll I'll build a, a ramp. Ah, okay. I was gonna. I was thinking, unless he's gonna dig down next to it and make like a ramp outside. I was thinking, how the hell is he gonna get those bloody big things out? <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna build a um, a ramp, which is gonna be um, having access from here down. Ah, but cool. I didn't. I didn't want to do that before. I was sure that the breeder was working. Yeah. Ah, yes, uh, I see. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and get some, uh, get a portal so I can get my wood and stone easily here. <clears throat> Venge or Vengze? Venge? Vengze? I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, but welcome and thank you for the subscription. And Scott Rudolph as well, thank you so much, appreciate you. Uh, a breeder like a boar breeder? Yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out a lox breeder. A uh, Jared. I mean, I think lox are actually 
one of the easiest ones to breed. <laughs> or not breed, to tame. To be honest. I mean, you can the boars as well, of course. But if you have, like, compared to the wolf, you have to do way more reparations. Well, you can also dig a hole. Doesn't make a difference. So, yeah. So, let's take four of these. I was originally planning to come on to do some stuff on um, line, but I needed to get stuff done with Brian. And I would have got stuff done with Brian over the last couple of days, but <laughs> some idiot cut through the, the fibre cable on the right outside of my house. I said, uh, not been a very smart guy. <laughs> no, really, really <laughs> bad electrician, that. Um. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't believe that though. I just I did everything like all day making it all great, and then just oh that little twig needs trimming. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing it's just a that's a fiber cable. It was not a power cable. Yeah, the power cable was next to it in, um, but that's in sheathing. Um, but yeah, the, but the fiber cable. I mean, honestly, they are so thin. I mean, literally a few millimeters thin. <laughs> And because um, you can't bend it either, you see, fibre. So it has to be. Um, and that's why I was thinking, can I repair this myself? Because I didn't have. An, I knew you can do it. I mean, that's. Normally uh, they have connections for it, yeah. But there are specific connections for it. Mm. So I had to think, well, how am I going to do this to. Um, in <laughs> order to actually get it I done mean, properly? Yeah, I think you could have, like, uh, ordered, but you would have to order, like, a pl the, the, the plier. You will have ordered the, uh, you know. Yeah, the well, luckily, the connections. This, when, I, when I opened all the box and I found that the actual connections are just, like, they're plug-and-play connections mm -hmm. with fibre, so um, all I had to do is work out what cable I needed and then go online and try and order the cable I needed, which wasn't easy. I mean, it took me probably two hours to find just from the code numbers on Google. Like, And then, of course, the one that I got, the make that was in the, in the box... Um, you can't buy that unless you're like a registered specialist uh -huh. or something. So of course I had to then think, well, are the connections going to fit from like a different make? So I just thought, well, it's 200 quid for a call out for an engineer or it's six pounds for the cable on Amazon. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought, well, <laughs> I'll go with the six pound cable. And, and luckily it was, it was fine. I just, uh, I just was paranoid that I was going to snap the bloody thing. <laughs> um, hey, Sergeant Mom, thank you so much for becoming a member and welcome to the uh, B side. Um, if you want, you can actually uh, link your account with the Discord account so you have access to the uh, inner rooms as well, the hidden rooms only for members. It's really quiet without the music, no? Let me just put some music on. All right, let's get some of my wood. Had to make coffee feed cat. That's uh, you had to make coffee feed cat. What's that, uh, Jerry? <laughs> I have not enough left to carry on. So. As long as you didn't feed the cat coffee, then you'd be all right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my portal here and we're gonna just shuffle through. Oof, chuff, chuff, chup. 
Chip. I found the B-side through the Ravenheim videos. Nice. Um, this is pretty tight here now. Another good way to find it is just flip Beeblebum over. Cats have biological caffeine that activates in the middle of the night. Ah, uh, don't tell me about it. I've been telling that this cat is lucky that we love her because, man. <laughs> Didn't realize you had a cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's not my cat. It's Tanya's cat. <laughs> but uh, I, I have been accepted in the, uh, <laughs> the circle of cats, so... Dan, don't make his head any bigger. Oh, is it, who's that? What? Some of the greatest songs started as B-side? <laughs> <laughs> this music sounded as if there was a, a raid coming. So what I want to do, I want to just put a roof on here, preferably high enough. So I'm going to have to check. I'm going I'm to assume that the same is going to count for the locks as well as 10 meters between uh, the breeder and the, the, the young. <laughs> What's the actual like hitbox around the locks? Is it much bigger because the locks are much bigger or is it just the same as the... The well, the, the lock is higher, no? I'm assuming that's gonna have to be taken into account. <laughs> Alright, so I'm almost out of stone, so that's good. Let's go and get some wood now. Beeps and other ah, voices are much louder. DK says same as the wolves, so that's fine, so you don't have to worry too much about the height then. Uh, what, you mean the hitbox is the same as the wolves? Because the locks is higher, no? Do I need to work from the back? I don't think the locks like it if you take them from behind. The wolves don't mind. The wolves like doggy style, is that what you mean? Exactly. Even though they're technically like cats. No, they're, are they cats? No, they're dogs. They are dogs. There's canis, yeah. yeah. Um, one question I did have is how high do I need to be from the water for one of the biggest ships? What? what? What's the clearance I need for the biggest ship on my like, building a dock? Um, well, you could just jump in the server and check uh, my dock and you can see it, how high it is. Because my dock is actually uh, pretty precise for the boat. Okay, I've made mine 12 meters from the water. So, I was waiting for the line after Beep said I should do it from behind. You mean that's what she said or something? Is that what you mean? Um... <laughs> Miss Cherry? Right, so I'm going to put some cordwood in here so I can measure. Good evening, old explorer. <laughs> Hear Beeble in some English accent. You know who it is. <laughs> right, so this is uh, 12 meter already. So we should be pretty okay if I put my uh, locks... 
just at the stone there. Okay. So I think if I put a roof on that, we should be okay, to be honest. Most perfect. So uh, this is Golden Gek, the other side. Um, Hi, Cherry. <laughs> I would normally be streaming as well, but I had issues. Um, so I'm not streaming, but uh, I'm just in the chat and um, working on my other character, but it's not on the same server. Is this going to work, or is this too large? <gasps> you just... Perfect, okay. I'm complaining. Never too large peeps. I don't know about that though. Mother. This meat sauce is really quite crap considering how much ingredients you need for it. What what? You know the minced meat sauce that you uh -huh. can make at the beginning? Because obviously I'm a lot further behind with Brian and we've only done the second boss. So I'm just trying to make all of the foods possible just so that... Because that's always been my weakness is never get the foods done in time. Uh -huh. I've got foods done, but I was very underwhelmed by how good that meat's meat, minced meat sauce is. And the same with the deer um, I think stew it, or whatever. Yeah. It's rubbish. I think it's better to go for the, the minced meat than the deer stew. I think the deer stew is more expensive now. Yeah, definitely. But then you might as well just do like turnip stew or something like that. I mean, that's going to be the best. I, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm so way past that now. Yeah, uh, Tim, Tim, you've got a point there. Beeps, you need to make sure that you welcome the, your latest sub. That's, uh, I don't know, I think you might have missed it. Um by saying their name properly <laughs> uh this is gonna be probably max or something isn't this max i think it might be max and i didn't he i even didn't hear no it didn't pop up it didn't go or do anything but it's michael has caught it. uh thank you so much for the subscription michael chernistov is that what you want me to do uh tim hmm? oh, so i'm just as long as you can read Russian. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Jan, I know, I know, I know, I do have some issues. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Moose, good to see you and welcome. Did I miss anybody else, by the way, um, that jumped in? All Explorer, I said hello to you, no? I did. What is this? I'm getting really fed up with that little ping noise constantly. I think it might be my... Yeah, it's my stupid... It's, these, it's the... Um, you got your whistle Luxus. No. On um, on Brian's little seed. I mean, it's a random seed, so I don't know where it was. We were really lucky to find the merchant almost straight away with because he was right near the um, second boss. Uh -huh. It pinged up just as I got near the second boss. So I had three swamps that were connected to my that I could get to from the first um, main island, um, just by like a river, and so I went through them. Not a single crypt. <laughs> <laughs> any single one of those three swamps and they weren't small either and so we went off sailing and um i found a swamp last week and we happened to found the bone moss swamp like as it, just luck would have it we ran into the bone moss swamp um and there's like six or seven crypts all right right next to each other around bone moss so that's fine i've got plenty there but I managed to find an island that's so far quite nice. I found a really nice piece of meadows that's got... It hasn't got much black forest, but it's got swamp on the other side. Black forest on the far side of the island. And then plains. But I've got uh. a little bit of plains that kind of sneaks around into the meadows. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to then 
as soon as I can, it had, there are some villages here. So as soon as I can find some barley and flax, I'll be able to actually just make a little farm right on the very corner. Uh huh. <laughs> be away from little. Hey, McTiger, by the way, welcome. I saw your name before and I realized I forgot to say hello. There's a lot of boars that spawn here, but I haven't yet had a starred one. Deer as well. I mean, I've got more deer than I think I've ever seen on a on a server. I think it's because I cut all the trees down, so <laughs> <laughs> I can actually see the spawns as opposed to they're normally like hidden, aren't they? The de deers might spawn in, but in the amongst the trees and amongst the forest. This cape can be handy and sometimes also very, um, what you call it, um, what's the word, taking you by surprise because you jump and you, if you jump further than you actually expect. Warm? <laughs> yeah, warm. <laughs> I learned something the other day in Valheim, a, ca a key command. I didn't realise that if you do a um, like an emote or something, so you know you do the forward slash um, uh -huh, uh -huh. in the emote. Whilst it's doing the emote, if you press the escape key, it pauses it. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> so you can get some really cool action shots if you yes. do the thing and then yeah, escape, yeah, yeah. escape, escape. And you can just toggle along. <laughs> like, you don't yeah. have to... I, yeah, I just thought, why have I not found this before? And then you control F3, take away the huts, and you can take a screenshot of a, yeah, a good yeah. action I, shot. I knew that bit. I just um, I just didn't know you could pause the thing. So what I'd been doing is I'd been recording the screen. Uh, and then snapshot. And going into Premiere and taking the screen. I thought, like, bloody hell, I could have just done it this way. <laughs> well, I've been doing it like that. I have like a whole s section of footage with just my character and the sky with... Uh, all the emotes so I can just take the uh, snapshots every time I need it without having to go in the game. Yeah, you have some good, um, yeah, the snapshots you've got for your thumbnails have been very good. <laughs> the only problem with where I've built this dock, I mean the dock looks pretty damn cool and because it's only Brian I've just built too little very narrow, like, well, they're going to be four metres wide just for the small boat. Because I've got two small boats because I, yeah, reasons. And <laughs> I died and I had to build another one. So anyway, I've got reasons. two small boats. <laughs> and then I've made a big hole in the middle to hold the, the big boat when Brian actually eventually gets it. And it does look pretty cool. But um, the water here, it's when it's settled, it's a good meter below the stone but when it blooming starts wavy i get water like i mean i suppose it cleans the dock for me so normally it's the right height but i'm guessing it's just because i'm right on the the waterfront so mm -hmm. but i mean it is light, I can't do anything about it, but it's uh, it's quite good. At least it cleans it down for me. It means I don't have to get Brian out there scrubbing. <sighs> Gonna have to sleep soon again. The night always comes quickly. Yeah, TK, um, VR Valheim would scare the shit out of you. <laughs> What's that? Imagine being... A Valheim in VR. Imagine sneaking through, like one of the doing the Queen fight or something in VR. Oh my god! 
I think and you would actually ha people would have heart attacks. It's just jumping it. from the fog, my god. Yeah. I mean, there were some when we did the battle, my when she jumped from the fog through, you know, lunged through the fog <laughs> or the mist, whatever you want to call it. I must admit that battle was rather irritating because the fact that I did pretty well and then I got clouted by her in the face uh -huh. and died. But of course, like because where I was and where she was was right at the very top. Even with a mist light, you've got no armor, so. Unless you've got a complete another set of the same armor and another mist light and uh -huh. the weapons, it's like, well, you've got no chance of getting your stuff back. So it's kind of was pointless. Um, because during that fight, you're going to have so many other enemies there. And they all one shot you. So I think that they almost, when you, um, if you're in a fight or something like that, you should respawn maybe where you were. Oh, just I don't know about that. Boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other bosses aren't so bad, but it's just with that because one, if you, otherwise you've got no way of getting back. Yeah, well, if you respawn there and you never can get out, how frustrating would that be? <laughs> no, but if you had your stuff, then you, you would be able to get out, wouldn't you? I'm going to close this roof of the You could never get your stuff back because you couldn't actually get in there. If you were playing on your own. That's going to be an interesting thing for if Brian ever gets there. It's probably endless the endless death of Brian. Yeah. Find out if he was the messiah then, wouldn't we? Or if he in fact is just a very naughty boy. Get some food going. Uh, you can also place a lot of... Can you build wisp torches inside, uh, Jan? Wouldn't have thought you could build a wisp torch inside the queen. Well, not inside the queen, but in her build. Uh, well, not inside the queen, that would be... That'd be quite difficult. I don't think you should enjoy that, would you? <laughs> I suppose it'd be an inventive way to kill her. Excuse me, I'm just going to shove a wisp torch up your... Uh... Hmm? Did you miss me? Up in other <laughs> regions. I think she might like it, you never know. Oh, she is, you can build. Let me see. I don't need a workbench. No, I don't need a workbench. This needs a forge. This needs a workbench. The wisp lines does need a workbench. You can see below, it doesn't say requirement is not a. As That's long as cool you have everything. You can build fires and wisp. Um, and wisp lights. Fires and wisp lights. That, that's pretty cool if you can do that because. That would make killing her a lot easier. Well, we should build wisp lights then on locations where they cannot be attacked because they will probably go for it. Um. All right. So now that this is done, uh, well, let's close this off for a moment here. No, no, we don't close it off. Missing, yeah, okay, need stone. Damn it. Um, let's just start breaking down this build. We need stone, Always so. Need stone. Missing requirements. Wherever you are. <laughs> Let's see, we've Stone is up the roof now, of course, isn't it? Right, 
get up there, put your hammer away. There we go. Oh, nice narrow, put it away. There was a character in, on Zane's stream last night. One of the characters that in that Harry Potter or whatever it's called, Hogwarts thing. Mm. He sounded like um, the guy who used to play it. What was his name from um, Carry On Films? Um, Kenneth Williams. He sounds just like Kenneth Williams. And obviously it can't be Kenneth Williams because Kenneth Williams is dead, but it, he really sounds just like him. But Zane missed all of my comments about that. <laughs> you mean he ignored you? <laughs> he does that. <laughs> Most people do, to be fair. <laughs> Most of the time it's because we don't know what to say and we just say, you know what, if we don't respond to it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you insinuating that I'm usually saying something offensive? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ignoring you now. <laughs> uh, right, let me Brian, this is what I have to put up with. I just need to move my. St oh, maybe I should move it there now. Move it there. Frazzle Dazzle, well, welcome. Good to see you in the stream. Thank you for joining. Is this the house in the house? Uh, we are just expanding the house so I can build my locks breather below it. Um, but I want to make sure that they don't get damaged by uh, m the mosquitoes and stuff. Have you had any uh, any felt the need to want to play Hogwarts, Beebs? Uh, no. No, nor have I. I just I no, I didn't grow up with Harry Potter, so it's not really anything that like I don't really get it. Like, like, I was too old when I, like, when I left school, it was, that's when it was coming out, and so I was kind of like, yeah, just too old for that, really. And from what I saw of Zane's gameplay, it did look pretty cool, but... Just, um, I don't have enough time as it is, let alone <laughs> another 400,000 hours of gaming. <laughs> Build the stone cutter here as well. There we go. You're not that old, TK. <laughs> What's that? And and hearing Gigi say that makes me bleed. What what do you feel old? What from Hogwarts? Is that what he means? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're fifty. So I'm I'm forty. So you're so you're only like sixteen years older than me. I just don't look forty. That's. <laughs> It is very intensive, story intensive forking, yeah, I, I think that like, um, that one of the main reason I was kind of said that I would make sure I was there for the full stream yesterday was just because we didn't know like what was going to happen with chat and we may have got like mm -hmm. idiots in the chat, so hence the reason I was there for a lot longer than I would have normally been in, in a stream, especially if something that I'm not playing. Um, but I mean, he was he was right. He didn't have too many too many problems. There was a couple we got rid of, but nothing that was um, nothing what I expected. I expected it to be a lot worse. But um, oh, it was quite nice. All right. So this should now be allowing me to. 
close off this and break down the house in the center. Break down the house. <laughs> he huffs and he puffs. I just need to close this off for the moment. Whenever you say that, I always think you're ending the stream. I think you what? Oh no, he's not. He's just because you yeah. say that when you end the stream, I'm just going to close off. Uh huh. <laughs> I think what's he doing? Oh no, he's still here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, stupid hammer. Mark, I don't think you can tame the hares, no, or as I thought they were rabbits as well, but um, it, they, they first time I saw one of those, I was creeping about in mistlands when I wasn't anywhere near capable of being in mistlands, and um, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could tame the bunnies, though. I'd like to have a bunny. I always wanted a bunny, but I only had ever had guinea pigs. Not entirely sure why they uh, decided not to. Maybe to make it a little bit less easy to get food. Well, quite overpowered food. Yeah, it is very overpowered food. But then I suppose you could just make it so they only bred like. <laughs> I suppose you'd have to make them so they breed like rabbits, wouldn't you? Really? <laughs> uh, pardon the pun. Um. Sorry, that was awful, wasn't it? But I suppose I couldn't help it. Um, so, it's okay. Maybe they just thought that, like, bunnies are very cute, and so they'd probably get a lot of shit if you had to kill the bunnies. Like, if you could breed them to kill them. Well, I don't know. The chicks are pretty cute as well, and or little piglets, and, you know. Yeah, but you don't kill the little piglets, do you? I did kill but a few. During my uh... yeah, so did I. I I realized you could, and then right, right. <laughs> I mean, I was doing yeah, the breathing. Right. I was doing the breathing. and was you know stuck. And uh, yeah, they my... do get the chickens are really irritating. They get right in your way, don't they? Yeah, and they are unbelievable. And what the amount of force these chickens have? Yeah, especially the little chicks. You think how yeah. the hell do you push me down the hole? Uh, anyone ever even know if you're able to tame the rabbits right now? So no, yeah, you cannot tame rabbits. I'm pretty sure there is a, a mod that will allow you. <laughs> Mark was obviously ignoring me too. <laughs> <sighs> Don't even get taken seriously by the chat. Oh. <laughs> it's alright, you can get your mini violin out in a minute. Um. Wait, did I not pick up like a oh, No, it's just wood. Okay, let's put a stack of wood here. Alright. So now this area is clear. Normally, this is now one, two, three. So that means we have 12 meter. So if I go one meter higher, which should be okay, that means we are already higher than we should be. But I think it's good because as you can see, these locks are stacking. So it might be good to just go two meters higher. Pit is going to be so stinky, isn't it? All that lock shit. Okay. Relax, guys. Stop breaking my stuff. These locks. Take it easy. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so I you, think. If you think... caught some, Mark, I'd definitely keep them. He's caught two two star um, hairs. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, and they have red eyes. Have you noticed that the two star hairs? They have red eyes. I'll definitely kill them then. <laughs> <laughs> the devil hair. <laughs> the devil hairs Prada. <laughs> That was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Gold Gek is his own critic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was I awful. I haven't got Lane it? here to like take the absolute piss out of yeah. me every time I say something oh, bad. Gek, so. that was just a shit joke. Or, or put me down, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, he does it in real life as well, not just on stream. <laughs> Zane, that is not uh, not Beebs. Beebs might do as well. I just don't don't know about it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Denial is always the first stage. Right. Come on, Brian. Brian's got a surprisingly large amount of oak trees in his uh, area as well, which is quite nice, but rather unusual. Um... At least they can't be the first person to chop them all down. Alright, so I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to build not in wood. I don't know how damaging these uh, locks are. I would imagine you would need to. Well, yeah, but you can. Why As long as. Because they're tamed. No, but if they sense or get a little bit panicked or whatever, they will start... S s um, the whole stand will fall down. Yeah, I'm thinking that if I use the same technique as we did with the pen, although this is pretty large. If I would do this. Alright. How much weight is this going to hold? Because this seems to be blue because of the... Uh, that's actually not bad, so we could actually... Missing requirements. Thanks, Wombat. Appreciate that somebody appreciated my joke. <laughs> I'm not sure if Wombat. <laughs> Was he just being mean as well? <laughs> uh, hey, I got what? I got stinky. <laughs> Um, what you're thinking, what you're drinking. For the moment, I'm not thinking much and I'm drinking whiskey. Uh, Jameson today. Jameson is the. I think it's like my house brand now for the uh, streams. It's not too expensive, but good taste. Yeah, well, 
I can't remember what the brand was, but the Christmas Tesco had some amazing offers on um, for, like club card members for the. I mean, it's, a, it's free to have a Tesco club card, just like their point system, really. Um, but if you've got one, they'd sometimes do offers. And I got my friend this bottle of whiskey that was meant to be like fifty nine quid, and I got it for like I think it was fifteen or eighteen pounds. Uh -huh. And so I thought, well, it's, that's like under twenty quid. That's like fine because he wouldn't expect anything like that. And he said it was absolutely beautiful. He said it was a really, really nice whiskey, and that you uh -huh. actually go and buy it, definitely buy it again. Just um, even though it was fifty, like I think sixty quid normally, it wasn't even a very big bottle. But um, I'm just trying to remember what it was called. I don't know anything about whiskey because I don't like it. So it was wood something, wood Woodhouse wood. Is it woodchucker? So we should be getting somewhere now. So the, 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 the most important thing is going to be how, how are the um, locks? Uh, I don't know what you call it to so drop their kits. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna have to see where they are actually uh, like with the chickens now we know that they're now dropping from below the chickens I don't know with the um... all right put another portal on the other side I think they uh, normally push them from to the back It just sounds very um, biological correct, you know. I mean, Hot if they came out of their mouth, it would be a little bit odd. Uh-huh. I stirred the cauldron. Ooh, you got bats, Beebs, you got bats. Well, good luck, bats. <laughs> You should not be able to get in here. They seem to be able to get in any nook and cranny though, don't they? Well, that's the other thing I found on Brian's map, is he's got a blooming ice, uh, a frost cave on his starter island. It's like... Considering it was a random... Si oh, my... Now you've got that, I've got a ground is shaking, for sakes. I'm not even rested. Oh, I've got a plan. It's cunning. Um, Logs, ba Logs baby should be called, I didn't, no, no, they are called calves. They are called calves. got locks in here so the locks can attack the trolls here we go that'll that'll stop my ground is shaking problem won't it yeah that worked <laughs> ah, ah you little bastard dust mosquito how long does this last this stupid thing As long as it takes you to die, I think. Well, I'm inside a whole bunch of walls, so... You see how smart it was from me to put a roof on this thing? <laughs> oh, 
My god. It's dark. Well, the locks took out the trolls, so that was nice of them. <laughs> Maybe I should just... I, I don't have... Let's go to bed again. I think it's two minutes or two minutes and a half, uh, the cauldron. Oh shit, the locks didn't take out all the trolls. Ryan. Ryan. All right. That is so useful having those locks right next to where I am. <laughs> Oh my god, they keep spawning! <laughs> what, the trolls? Trolls! They will keep spawning until the thing is over. Yeah, but why can't it finish? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Ah, oh, she never says that. <laughs> why can't you just finish? I got all other things on my mind. Yeah? <laughs> Mother. Why would you break? It's like blue blue and green here. What, what is the logic behind this, you stupid piece of... <laughs> Clickety clicky noise, I went like what? It's... Oh, never mind. Wow, a roach. by locks who are you yeah i just ran out of stamina and i had three trolls <coughs> and three locks and yeah <laughs> i was trying to play them off against each other but the bloody ground is shaking did not stop no it takes quite some time as well yeah and i'm guessing it's if it's either um you kill the three trolls or you don't kill the three, and there's one remaining, and then you've gone out of the area, come back in the area, and then another two spawn, so you've always got three. Yeah, Cherry, they spawn during the night now in the meadows. I was actually doing some work after the queen boss, and suddenly I heard like a... <coughs> I was looking, and there was like a whole bunch of dicks, three seekers, and I heard the giggles of... Um, Giggles of goblins as well. I was like, what the hell is going on? All right, so we are now. I mean, I've got enough troll hide now and, um, and gold. <laughs> <laughs> but all of those trolls didn't kill a single lox. Oh, if I'm gonna need iron, I'm gonna have to come here and sail it here. <sighs> because I didn't really think about building wood iron here. I mean, how far am I from my... Not that far. I could just sail around the island and drop it here. So it should be okay. Um, a 
as if I need another reason to not take on the queen in my solo game. Uh, how did you fix the floor that kept breaking? I kept, I just built this row first, so this was connected, and then I built the second row in between, and it stayed. I think sometimes um, it needs like a corner before it sticks. I will get wood iron anyway, just to be sure, because what I'm going to try to do here is I would li like to uh, build something most likely. What is stronger, stone or wood or iron? I think if I build this, this might be a better solution. So if I build from here over, so the, the, the locks are standing on this grill. I might actually have to take out stone. We'll have to see. All right, let me build a, a, a chest. And now, let me think. If I... Let's take the floors and let the, let's build this in wood first. All right. So this locks is about, so let me check, take the core wood. Locks are about the same size. I think they are almost four meters deep. That looks like, uh, is this four? Yeah, four and six meters wide. Four meters deep, six meters wide. Those trolls can't have just been normal star trolls either because I didn't really get a chance to look at them because one of them dropped 15 troll hide. That can't be right. Uh, if it's a, if it's a uh, raid, you will not get star tr trolls. Oh, then how did I? Did Maybe I two on the same two? time. Well, I mean, there's a, there's still a nice, another six piles of... <laughs> Gold and, and leather to go and pick up. It's just that bit too close to the locks. Okay, so uh, that's a depth. So if I built at this place here, the locks maybe stand in the middle. So even if they rotate, they still. Hmm. What I could do. Because they don't need to be right next to each other. I, I'm pretty sure they don't need to be like perfectly so if we do this and we do this and then and most likely the calf is gonna fall through here it's pretty big the funny story that I read in um, um, BBC news and it was this zoo who'd got these little monkeys, an incredibly uh -huh. rare monkey. And, um, but she had been on her own and she, she, she 100% kept on her own and she somehow she got pregnant. This is very strange. <laughs> so definitely nothing. There's no way that they can get in there. <laughs> they found that um, the male monkey had basically found a tiny little hole. <laughs> <laughs> in the uh, in the wall, <laughs> and they'd obviously uh, been uh, at it through the little hole in the wall. <laughs> it's hilarious. You could just think <laughs> she obviously was up for it, and he was obviously up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back and get this down. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of adjustments to the stone. Yeah, smart monkey. <laughs> Clearly, it knew what it wanted. Well, they both knew what they wanted. Hopefully, they'll be now put together so that they they can be a happy little family. <laughs> I 
All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to break these. And instead, we're going to use this. Like this. And then we're going to break you two. All right. So that should be pretty big for, and then we need six meters in the middle. So six meters in the middle and then six meters on the outside. You know, all those trolls, Beebs, they did not even damage the locks. Even slightly. <laughs> These locks have no damage to them. I don't know if that comes because they uh, just didn't hit them or... Um... They were smacking the shit out of them with their logs. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did they eat anything? Like uh, berries or something? No, they've just gone back to where they were. Like, just in, they just... They're on the very border of the plains and the meadows, but there's nothing there. But I thought, I was hoping that they would, the trolls would have damaged them quite a lot, so then I could go and have some locks meat early on. Because <laughs> there is no way that I'm going to be killing them otherwise. Uh, Kajiro, welcome by the way, good to see you. Marip, welcome as well, hello, hello. MacGyver, hello, welcome. Atlas, I said hello to you. Uh, Blue Monkey. I, think I don't. That's see... what he meant. It was a. It was a blue monkey. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I was like blue monkey. I don't see blue monkey in the chat. <laughs> uh, two locks need at least four by four to eat, and you can easily. Yeah, Kajiro. What I'm looking for is for a better way than what has been made so far. Um. So what I want to figure out. I want to have a. I want to have these locks in the cent. Ah. I I have to say, and I have been saying this already several times now. Since the update, you're falling off things way easier. If you stand on an edge, you start slipping. It's like there's like a magnet sucking you down from the edge. I've always had that problem. <laughs> Especially when I'm building up high. <laughs> hey, Dr. Def, welcome. You know the and, thing that annoys you. me more, though, when building is when you destroy a rock. And the rock decides, instead of falling down to the ground where you are, it's going to go up on top of the highest point on your build. And then you've got to build elaborate stairs to get back up to get that one frickin' rock. I believe that's gravity. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jeffers, for your uh, unbelievable insight there. <laughs> gravity would fall down. This is like, they're just... Yeah, just irritating. Good to see you, uh, Jeffers. Alright, so... This should be the plan. Like that, right? And in between... This is where the locks would be. Alright. So that means now I can count how much iron grill I need. So that's going to be that and that. This is one every time. That's two. So one, two, three. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve iron for this platform. Twenty-four iron for that platform. Uh, 
and then we need of course the iron beams as well the problem is that if this uh, stupid ball um, no that's too much i'm having six meters we need only four uh, this is no 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 i'm making a mistake i'm making a mistake i'm making a mistake that word isn't in your vocabulary beams what that word that you just say that's not in oh. your vocabulary mistake yeah, that's the one. No, it was a mistake. I miss miss um that's the size I need. So that's what I need. Okay. That is gonna allow if there's a calf, it should fall down here. But then it might not fall down here. So I will have to break this side open again later then. Okay. So what I wanna do is I want to make sure no matter which direction this um locks is rotated. We will try to avoid that, of course. Give them food on one side, they should stand in one direction. But if they rotate, they still, when they uh, uh, bird their uh, calf, it will drop in either one of the sides. Well, if you want to do something here. <laughs> Alright. So, this again. <laughs> so, one, two, that was um, four, I don't know. So, 4 iron, 5, 6, 7, 8 iron, that's 16 iron. And then um, we need wood iron twice, here, 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 here. Yeah, wood iron. All right. So, that's going to be uh, 1, 2... And how much do we need for a wood iron? One. No? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus twelve. There we go. So, that's twelve iron. That's going to be twenty-eight. So, I'm going to take... Twenty-eight. I'm going to go and get forty iron. Just to be sure, because I'm going to do some work on the farm anyway, so. How long is it between when you kill a troll? Oh dear, I've got a boar centipede here. A what? A? Eh? A boar centipede, you know, like the human centipede thing. <laughs> I've got a boar centipede. It's quite disgusting. It's a good boar polonaise. Maybe a nicer word. Well, they've all got their heads up each other's. Yeah, just got one long sausage. Um, what is the um, time in between if, say, you kill a troll and then it spawns back? I have no idea. There's a spawn point right near Brian's base, and I keep killing the troll, but then obviously I... I don't know... Uh, Make sure that I'm fully rested before I... Oh, I've got four two-star boars completely on the wrong island. I'm guessing you can still um, harpoon a boar. Yes. So how do you get them onto a boat? Do you know, I'm guessing you have to get a ramp. And then uh, yeah, most of the time you just build a ramp out of stairs or out of roof and just... Um... They won't get off the boat. They might, uh, if they get f frightened. Okay. Well, I can I can go around the coast and... Um, Most of the time what I'm doing is I'm actually breeding the boars at the location where I find them, so I have more than the ones I p take with me. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've done. Yeah. So you always um, have a backup to go and pick up again. Yeah. Yeah. I just haven't seen any... 
I mean, I think there are certainly, like on Bayless Rest, in, in my, there's two born spores. Born spores? Boar spores. <laughs> right outside my base, but I've never had a starred boar on any, a one star or two star on spawn out of that. And I kill them all the time, and there's still never been one spawn. So I don't know whether certain areas just will never spawn a starred boar. I don't know how that... Well, well there is a limit, no, there's a limit in... Boards, so if you kill them, they're gone. Yes, they're gone, but then yeah. if you, they will respawn in that area, won't they? Uh, yeah, but they won't respawn as a two-star. But why not? I think there's a limit on how many two-stars are spawning. No, what I mean is that if, if there's never been a, a starred boar spawn, there's the deers, you can kill them and you'll get a two star deer mm. back. Or a one star deer or a zero star deer, but I've never seen a starred boar there. Mm. Whereas in an, another area, and that's a fish in the middle of the grass. Stupid fish. Uh, Jeff, is, it's just, I just went to Google, copy it, I looked for arrows down, up, left, right, copy it, and just paste it in my, cha in my um, text box. It's um, also out plus six two. Didn't work for me, the alt code. Uh, hey Lucius, welcome. I, I haven't tried the alt code in Valheim, I just know what the arrow is. Mm. I used it on something else. thinking that if you clear like um, stones or fallen logs or things like that in the, the game renders better well you remove the instances no yeah so you're removing the it's just that there are so many rocks in the grass of meadows like, not the ones you just pick up the actual ones that you have to break I've basically made the whole base so far Everything I've done, thousands of stone just from the little tiny little rocks in meadows. But at least now I can run through the meadows barefoot and I'm not going to stub my toe. <laughs> like Jason. <laughs> Jason would fall over it and die. Well, Jason stubbed his toe in with the elder yeah you see the you see them there you see them there they are the seekers i should have slept yeah. get in the water because they seem to be very interested in my boat which area are you at it's my... black forest, aren't you? Uh-huh, but uh, they don't care. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to... Go away! Go away! Are they in the water? They are swimming to my boat, the little beaches. Bastards. I need to stay close to the coast, though. How know, quick! If you got them out into the main water and then it's night time, you might see a serpent. And then How quick the... do these things swim? Very. It's like how fast do drogas go underwater. Ridiculous. But they would kill the serpent for you. Uh, I'm trying to... Uh, the thing is, I could turn my boat, but then... They're coming for me, not for my boat, it seems. Go away. All right. You 
bloody room for honor. Oh, and I'm they are aggroed from really, really far, by the way. See, I need to really be careful. Okay. See, see, coming ne next one. All right, let's see if I can turn my boat quickly. Can you not outrun them in that boat? Uh, if I can get my boat to get into the sail, yeah. Put forward, uh, I'm sailing backwards. Ah, I killed it. What's that? Is that brute? What? What the hell? A brute underwater. Hey, and they do some serious damage on your boat. Let's get out of here, guys. Okay. So they really aggro from far. This is when they start flying and just appear next to you. <laughs> You're like, bollocks. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hey, Basic. Good to see you, man. Welcome. I think it's smart. To, I would say it's. I'm not sure if it's their plan, but I got fuelings as well. Don't they kind of skip them? Because fuelings, seekers, ticks, and brutes. This is a serious fuelings recipe for disaster. Like, like the seekers. Yeah, they do. They but provide. once they once they see you, they are more interested in you uh, than yeah. in. They want your butt. What power have you got at the moment? You queen. Got mass on. Queen. Oh, you got queen. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about, you know, fighting. <laughs> Effing fork. What's the queen power? Uh, either gen regeneration and mining. Oh. Fast and mining. Oh, I see. Yeah, the powers that you need, like, at the beginning of the game. <laughs> the first and mining. I'm assuming we're going to need it in the, um, what you call it? Oh yeah, I'm 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 so loving this weather, guys. I'm really loving this weather. What is it? You got fog, have you? Yep, and I have no idea where I'm at. I see the coast, I think. stole my um stole my food you know I swear i didn't get as much food back when i picked up my world my death bag they like my mince meat sauce that's what it was they're like a hey, saucy come here we want to dip our big blue finger in your sauce Have you noticed as well that they like they pick their bum and then they smell their finger? <laughs> kind of waiting for the fog to disappear a bit, guys, before I am. Um, I think we should be okay now. Did I just. Oh, this is my village, okay. I was like, did I just land next to a village? But we're good. We're good. Um, right. You would think that defeating each boss would end spawns. I, I would say that as well. I think it would be... Or at least when you defeat the next boss, it just ends all the previous spawns. Okay. 
Right. Suppose the problem then, though, is that when you get to the end, then you're not going to get any spawns. Which is okay. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I know, but you're in the game, so therefore surely it should get harder, shouldn't it? You kind of want to get to a point where everything is okay, no? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, there's a point of beating all the bosses and getting all the peace and quiet back in, a, in the plains and the end the realm. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I, I I always find that I I would prefer it if the game got harder the the more you progressed, because then it keeps giving you the challenge. No, but now let's say let the the Ashlands drops. All right. Next is the Ashlands. That means that when we beat the the Queen, we should no longer have the we should have the chart running around uh, wait is it not like no that's the rates <sighs> i don't know guys and there should be a point where you just have peace and quiet bosses are all defeated it's peace and quiet if you want to get challenges you just go and start a new server <laughs> yeah but surely then you'd be in valhalla yeah, but you probably don't want to lose your server as well. But that's where you get the peace and quiet, is in Valhalla. I don't know, do, would you get... Do you get... Uh, no, I don't think so. There might not be any uh, raids or whatever. There might be raids, though, in the Deep North. But there might not be any uh, spawns. That would be amusing to get raids of Sirtlings in the Deep North. <laughs> They wouldn't last very long, would they? <laughs> well, as long as they don't touch water, they seem to be okay. Ah, let's see how long that boat lasts. That'd be fine there. Oh, you've parked it. Hitting just a random chests. Right. So what I'm going to need is access to the top layer. need access to the top layer can never reach uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not let's break some stuff down here I need some wood maybe I have some wood in here let me just quickly check no. I'll give you some wood. Um. Peace, quiet, and a hammer that never breaks. Yeah. They must have splinters by now with all that shaking of his wand. I think he's just making videos now, no, I don't think he's streaming. He's not streaming now. I think he's got another video coming out tomorrow. I think. I need to get rested. It takes too long for my stamina to regenerate. 
Has anyone worked out whether that actually is a thing that in the Mistlands it's uh, stamina regeneration is, or you use more stamina or stamina regeneration is slower? Uh, I don't know about that. I know that you use a lot of stamina just to be able to traverse it. But even when you're just in like somewhere flat, it seems to use up your stamina so much quicker being there than it does anywhere else. It does also take stamina when you use your cape, by the way. If you use your cape and you press shift to fly further, you will use stamina. Uh, well, you I, didn't have a cape for a very long time, so... I think a lot of people are, uh, <laughs> have not taken notice of that, but... Um... Okay, I just picked up partly by accident. I mean, I don't think birds... Birds don't use stamina for, like, to fly, do they? Because otherwise they'd be dropping... No, no, if you, if, you, if you jump and fly like this, you won't use stamina. But if you do the jump and you press shift to fly further, you use stamina, see? So I think it makes sense because a bird, when it does use its f feathers to fly further, uses stamina. Not when it um, just floats. If you know what I mean. Why does it take more stamina to the <laughs> rectum? <laughs> Have you tried to land a blooming four or five star fish, especially a, like a troll fish or something? They are bastards. Because <laughs> you just about get it to you. Oh no, you lost your catch. And you think, no, I didn't. <laughs> Where did my stone go that I just broke then? Oh, it fell down. No. Oh. Yeah. I just need to get the iron up here. There we go. I'm gonna have to open this roof open uh, later than to get the um, locks in here. Yeah, once you've killed the second boss, you get troll raids. That's what I'm getting all the time at the moment. Hot for dumb it. You know what I forgot? I brought iron with me. <sighs> I don't have copper. Guys, my brain was not with me today. How much do you need there? Because it might be quicker just to smelt it. Well, I still need to find copper somewhere. Oh my god. Here in need... Canada, I would explore. They class a, like a, a rusty spoon as a weapon. You were saying you tried to send us uh, I chainsaws for Christmas. Who? I would explore. Um, I don't think I have any copper in that. I don't think I have a... Tw <sighs> How such a stupid... Do you know of anyone that actually uses buke berries at all? Uh, Vassal does use them when he wants to shift around. So, just Vassal then? 
Well, I know that for sure. I've, I've been using them as well just to quickly shift to my um, magic, but that was like one or two times, so. So, yeah. Uh, let's sail back, get some copper. Hmm? Because I, I need to build a forge. Break the boat. Yeah, I could break the boat, but I kind of like sailing. <laughs> In other words, you didn't think of it. Eh? <laughs> yeah, if I'm really like in a rush or something, but I'm not in a rush now. Uh, get it from the fires. Get what from the fires? Wait, is there a mountain? There is a mountain up there. Ah, but I already was up that mountain. There's nothing there anymore. To be honest, I think it might have been pretty close. I could have walked this. Uh, I already raided that mountain, so there's nothing up in that mountain anymore. I hope there are polar bears, if, because they've got the locks and they're big, so it'd be quite cool to have bears. I think polar bears would be good. I think it's the best place to get bears. And they are also pretty fierce animals, so... I think we should be, like, they should add guinea pigs to the plains. And then you can tame them and ride a bear like in Narnia. No, was it Narnia? No, uh, it was the uh, what was it again? The Golden Compass. Is that the the one with um, what's her name again? The actress, um, Kim Kim. I have no clue. What you're the red about. the red haired uh, actress. That's always a thing. And if it's bronze, I cannot... Nicole Kidman, yeah, that one. Ah, uh, guys, Nicole Kidman is doing... Uh, it's the Golden Compass, no? Where they ride the uh, polar bear with the... But they are actually s sentient polar bears, no? It's been so long I saw that movie. They also have a basic instinct. Eh? It's just another Nick, Nicole Kidman movie, isn't it? <laughs> is it? No, that's Sharon Stone. Oh, is it Sharon Stone, is it? Nicole Kidman was uh, eyes wide shut. Ah, uh, yes. This damn little bloody rocks. Why, why, why won't they come through? I'm on top. I've climbed all the way up here to get these bloody rocks out that have fallen down. And they're underneath the slabs, but now it's saying that my oh, frickin' stone cut up. That was a weird movie, it was a weird movie. And there was a lot of weird movies uh, around that time as well, I think. Um, I need to build a forge, MacGyver. I brought my iron, but I cannot build my iron if I don't have a forge.
could mine some, I could. But good look. I could, if I would have walked and take the copper, I could have easily just walked down and get it as well. You lazy bastard. I just felt like sailing. I don't know. And it all was chill and relaxed until I saw these seekers jumping in the water. <laughs> Did I just shoot my own boat? Sit down! No sheet? No. We're definitely going to sleep tonight. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Let's see if I can just uh, curve it around here. For you, when you speak to your character like a frustrated dad. <laughs> it's, it, you know, what happens if you press the button of your mouse or something? You're a little bit trigger happy, you know? Can you not feel... How can you not feel rested? There should be like a bonus for sailing, you know. Without any stress, you know, if you sail like a long period, you get like uh, invigorated or something. Because sailing should be so... You know, so chill. Hitting also the waves. Chill, though, the That's what I'm like seeing if there's nothing... If nothing happens, that's what I'm saying, if nothing happens. Look, I'm I'm resting now, uh, old explorer. There, <laughs> it's a tight parking. Um, copper. How much do we need for that? Um. Sticks copper. Like a glove. <laughs> I thought they said that they'd made the snapping better. Into like for when you're trying to put boards out over a river or something. They're gonna be doing that. They're working on a. They're working on they're it. They're going to be doing. Oh, I thought they said they'd done it. No, 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 no. I was about to say what liars. <laughs> I never had any issue with snapping in this game. I don't know what people are on about. <laughs> Yorick Burnison. That was the polar base name, yeah. Yeah. 
in um oh what's this what's that that was really good um funny name though that series what's it called Noah's Ark <laughs> no no it was, it's fairly recent it's really really good very very well made um of his dark materials that's what it's called don't know yeah it's a TV, TV series very very well done I think it was even it was actually BBC as well so for BBC to make something that was actually like well made and actually kind of normal Um, sleep at night? I slept already young. I slept. The stress of ca what? Carrying the stream on his own? No. Why? Well, because I was doing this? Yeah, I have some pain, neck, uh, neck pains. Not that bad. Oh dear, he's not responding. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said you had some, some neck pains. I said I'm not that bad. Again, not responding. <laughs> I was actually reading the chat in the meantime and trying to <laughs> sail, you know, gank, you know. Um, that sometimes we forget how much of work and progress it is. We assume one... Some things are set in stone, forget things can change and will. Um, I'm not sure in the, on what that is a reply to. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Full speed ahead. Jason being one of the pains in the neck. Jay, I, I have to say there's nobody really a pain in the neck in the Bay Lazarus server. It's okay. I think Jason is more of a pain for himself than for anybody in the server. <laughs> Dying all the time. I've done my fair share of that, I think. What, dying? Yeah, yeah Jason's am an amateur at dying now. I showed him how it was done properly. <laughs> Specified this server, how about Ravens? <laughs> Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Fish in the boat. Well, hello. Throw fish. That was brilliant. You know, when we were all out sailing that time, and I said, "Oh, it'd be brilliant if we got a." a um, a fish just jump in the boat, and then the fish literally jumped in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Same was so annoyed that I got that fish. Because it was an angler fish, so on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It was the angler fish. <laughs> no. And same way, an angler fish. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be funny if I just jumped in the boat and then boing? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Gold Gek? He's preparing for a bay, um, Brian, uh, all explorer. A uh, new name for the map ID. Uh, I always have the same struggle, Yurisu. 
Like, what am I going to name it now? There are some very cool ones that people have found that um, are really challenging. Like did you see the one? Did you see the one from Unknown Factions with the one with the little little uh, spawn island? The island yeah, is so I, I've sm actually found one like that though, babes. I've actually found one like on my own of, um, of that. I think it's it's a combination of Gabby's name and it, you literally get a tiny spawn island and there's like hardly anything there and you've got water just like quite deep water. You can't get off. <laughs> it's um, no, you I have to you have to build your really... raft raft and yeah, sailing. Yeah, you have to build a raft, but I don't even know if there's enough stuff to build the raft. <laughs> I'll have to um, look it out. I should have really played that one on Brian, but I thought that was a, probably a bit too much of a challenge. All right, let me get my iron. Um, then we get the resources for the forge, and then we should be okay. No, no, no. Oh, I forgot. I just realized I had my cape at the moment I jumped. You know, when you jump down, you know, I forget, like, before you had, like, ah, oh, did I eat? I'm still on the did I eat <laughs> with Brian. Uh, that's what the same, but I was like, did I have my cape on? Uh, I have my cape on. I'm doing the very top rafters of Brian's new house, and oh, I'm, I'm very high up here. I'm going to be what? It's four, eight, so. I'm six, 17, 18 meters off the floor. <laughs> Wee. It's weird you don't get red jute from these as well, by the way, here. These little flags on the sides. These look like red jute. It's weird we didn't get red jute from these. Yeah, it is strange, but I suppose they built red jute afterwards, didn't they? Yeah, but, I mean, it would be probably easy for them to just make it oh, the, yeah. sp the spawn pool. Um, yeah. yeah, they could just add, add the cake. Mind you, there's a lot of things they could do. <laughs> To like in no man's sky there's a lot of yeah. things they could just bloody but, finish yeah. they are also <laughs> just still working on the on the game i think once they get like all everything sorted out we might see some changes and updates to like the meadows and uh yeah because I mean, at the you, moment they've probably yeah. just gone and adopted the game yeah. because you do see the, the the game is maturing the, the each biome that has been made the game matured like mistland is such an amazing biome while the other ones looks great as well, but Mistlands is like the cherry on the top now. Um, so I need some uh, coal, and that's all. Yeah, sorry, old explorer. I've just seen your what you just written. Yeah, I'm I'm working on Brian's um, save because. It's a little boring just doing streams of me building. Like I'm not feeble, so my building stream is not going to be very exciting. Um, so I need to get Brian to a point where we can do like bone must and stuff next. So he needs to have a house because otherwise he's literally got a little round mud hut. And um, at least this island is. I've got bone mass on this island. I've got. The plane's just over there, so it'll make it a little bit more exciting. I but think I had some oh. coal down here. The problem is, is I've done the classic Zane, go big or go home, and I think I've made it a slightly too big, considering Brian is just one character. <laughs> Alright, let's go home and pick up the coal. <sighs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to see it dropping on. Uh, I'm looking forward to see it drop on Xbox soon as well. Uh, cool.
be fair, I would explore it. So far, what I've built is absolutely bloody brilliant, but like, it's just the fact that I've maybe gone a little bit over the top for Brian. So I've learned all this stuff from Beebs, and so I can do all of what he's taught us. What's that? From... On Valheim? Valheim, yeah. Did I... Well, I did a few small guides. Well, no, I mean, just in general. You've oh. discovered stuff and found stuff out, and I've seen what you've built, and so I've just taken ideas and adapted them, so... <laughs> I think you will like this though. This, this. I've, I mean, I've only literally built the dock so far, but I think that you're gonna, you're gonna really like this. I've put some little design ideas into it that I haven't really seen being used before. They're very simple, but just like they seem to be really effective so far. Tricky thing is, is getting it to not be red. No, no, it's all right. It's, oh, it's red. Oh dear, it's red right in the middle. It's not so bad. I'm quite surprised it's actually not that red. I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. Oh, that one didn't like that. I might need wood iron. It means I'm gonna have to do crypts. <laughs> I might actually drop it down. I might actually be better to do it like this. Yeah, but old explorer beebs like can build at like a rate that isn't humanly possible he has like beebs building speed and it's it's not normal <laughs> i'm but a, i'm just but a gag i'm a but a gag Yeah, I guess I go and go and get it. Damn it. The great thing about building high over a dock is the fact that you can just jump in the water and you don't take any damage. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Should I have a... What? The... Hot for Dumma. Stand... I heard my boat. <laughs> Unless you miss the deeper water, yeah. <laughs> it's just like a Geronimo splat. And he has five damage states on his safe, little lone one. Alright, yeah, so... The, the tide goes out as you jump down. He's <laughs> like, oh, bugger. <laughs> That's right, you're a hard viking. What is a broken ankle? Is but a scratch.
Okay, let's just snap this there. Yeah. All right, so that's one. I'd love to do a, like a circus thing then, put the hot tub right yeah, in yeah. the <laughs> like, so that would actually and... Would actually be a good challenge, you know, like jump into, yeah. <laughs> Jumping from really high, like, in, like these uh, divers in the middle of a... MacGyver, thank you for joining and have a good one. Appreciate you jumping in. Good night, MacGyver. Clink, clunk, clink, clunk. <laughs> uh, I'm fingers crossed that I have enough iron here. Uh, we should have, we should have. Okay. Whew. I mean, we brought 40 iron, so we should have enough iron. You know what I'm thinking right now is um, could I work with stone on this side here? Because <laughs> I don't have enough iron. <laughs> but that is gonna bring a problem. Hot familiarity. Oh, I really didn't think this through, guys. I only got eight iron left. Um, I was thinking it might actually be better to put an iron cage like this. Because that's going to be m more protecting. The question is going to be, are they going to climb out? Are they going to... It's going to be so much fun. All right, let's go home. Let's sleep. Let's get iron. I'm going to do this by foot now. Um, that's another... Eight... If we only would have black metal, black metal uh, grills, I would just go on a rampage. A 
be quite useful, wouldn't it, to have black metal grill? <laughs> Let's sleep. So I need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times is sixteen. I might just have enough for. Um, You can't go on a rampage anyway, it would be fun to watch. But I don't need it. <laughs> uh, well, 16 iron, mother effing hell. Don't I have like a whole bunch of iron somewhere here? I have a lot of iron at my other place. Hot fur. Um, okay. You can see how much iron I've been using in this build. Um, we could break this smith's anvil, and I can come late and bring this wheel back. Well, um, how much more can I take? I can't take it all. Twenty-seven. We're gonna take it all. And let's go. Uh, did I sleep? I slept. No. Uh, a lot of work tomorrow. See you later, Sarah. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you jumping in. Bye. Uh, maybe take the Black Forge and build it with the Copper Grates. If you don't have enough iron. Yeah, but I still need to get Copper as well then. So it's the same kind of walk. Sausages, fish, and carrot soup. That should be enough for the crypt. Not even slightly enough arrows, though. Uh. Oh no! So I said. No, no, it was you. I the, this weird. Sometimes the chat just jumps and the the names kind of stick. So you have a good one. Thank you for joining and uh, see you next time. And uh, hello, Sarah. Still good. Good to see you. Still. <laughs> Who's giggling? There he is. That's a one star. If you don't kill it in one shot, do it in two. I need to remember, I need to remember poison resistance. I have to say, I tried a few runs in the um, um, what's the name? In the Mistlands, oh. the, the, the uh, what's the name for the, the infested mines with mm. my magic. I have to say, I'm not impressed. No. Because <laughs> there's Does it eater need more than. I mean, if you do this solo, the eater weaver is definitely not very protective. Let's take a poison resistance because I don't know what's going to be here. 
I couldn't believe the amount of drag or leech that I got on that last stream. That was just totally and utterly <laughs> nuts. <laughs> I think I've got, I think I've eight in that one crypt. <laughs> oh, 15 iron in one, one chest. That's nice. Didn't, didn't even see me. I was sneaking up on a mosquito, guys. Unbelievable. The high level magic is insane, but you really cannot take any hits because, man, they just go through your uh, armor like it's nothing. It's like butter. It's actually cheaper. Well, it's not cheaper, but I don't know why I actually did this. If I do the, if I do double, it's actually going to be stronger. It just cost me the same amount than this. Let me just break this and go and. This island is tiny. Yeah, it is really tiny. I'm. I'm not sure if. It's like a, a, a speck of dust you're standing on. Yeah, I, I agree with you, um, Mayor BB PC. Um, or just meh. <laughs> um, I think that the magic is made for more role playing, and you need to have like one person as the healer, one person as the. Which kind of does make sense in a way for certain stuff. I'm feeling this cage is going to be too small for my. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have miscalculated this a bit. What are oh. the, is the cage too small for the locks? I mean, it might be okay. I just need to test it and see. Um... Oh, Marip. Am I correct with saying Marip then, or...? Marip... Marip... Pretty sure I uh, will butcher this too much now. Try to say it right. Marik! Ah, it's Marik! I mean, I would butcher it, whatever. Ah, uh, so because, I mean, sorry, there's I'm like the two try. Bs, <laughs> the two Bs and the P really made it confusing. see all the disaster that's going to go on with this here. How much wood do we have left? Can I... I'm going to close this off as good as I can. Just if we get a rate. I, I, I think the locks can handle quite some damage from the bats, I would say. Uh, 
Uh, BBC is for Black Beard Pirate Crew. Okay, all right. Now I'm starting to get it now. I'm just closing this off so I have a little bit more protection. If we get a raid, the locks inside the pit should be safe. You see, Beebs, I always thought um, either Gabby was pressing the wrong key on her keypad or she just couldn't spell because she always used to put J-A-J-A-J-A for like laughing. Uh -huh. Then I realized that in Spanish, <laughs> J is pronounced H. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, it made complete sense to me then that she was actually putting H A H A as in ha ha ha. But she was writing it in Spanish. <laughs> Ooh, a chest with. 15 and a chest with 20 iron. Thank you very much. I know, I know it might be a little bit overkill, guys, but I kind of want to make sure that this... I don't want to be taming any locks anymore today. I'll let you into a little secret, Merrick. I'm not really a geck, and I don't even like gold. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's actually a, a very naughty boy. <laughs> not a naughty boy. I'm the Messiah. He's not the Messiah. <laughs> All right. Now, let the fun begin. game just gave me a plaque to tell me that I just found bone mass, but hate to tell the game, but I've already found bone mass. <sighs> Stubborn little... Not like I have a lot of wood to do this, so well, there's an incredibly well lit tiny tiny room. There's four green torches. But in a room that's so small that I like I feel like I'm illuminate. Illuminated. overly illuminated the weight of that bird made it collapse <laughs> bird 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 I just have two pieces of wood left which should be uh, enough to do this side Um, I need more wood. That's what she said. <laughs> Dirty bitch. Mm. 
no, 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 no. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Welcome back, Wombat. No, I'm not a Corvax. <laughs> I will never play as a Corvax. I'd go against everything that I've ever known. All right, almost there. At least getting the locks in there, and then we can see how miserable this system was. Ah, oh, it's raining. Good thing I have a big roof here. <laughs> I would be a little bit taller unless I was a short Corvax. Like a, a switch version of the Corvax. Have you played um, No Man's Sky much on your Switch, Beebs? No. It, I'm only going to play it when I'm uh, on holiday or whatever. I mean, I don't see, see that's the... the exact reason why I don't have a Switch or anything, is because when I'm going on holiday, I don't want to be near a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Gabby would absolutely kick my ass, so... Um. -da 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 -da. The thing is, most of the time, Tanya falls asleep way before me, so. Ah, I suppose. Yeah, Gabby's the same. She'll go to bed quite early, then she gets up ridiculously early. It's like she can't just sleep or stay in bed. Like, even on like a weekend or something, you know, she's not working or anything. She'll still get up at like 7 30, you know. And you're just like, yeah, but it's Sunday. <laughs> it's like that unwritten rule that you do not get up earlier than at least 10. <laughs> okay, so I could pull him up here, but if he starts walking off, it's going to be hell to pull him up. So I might actually just. <sighs> that would make a saddle and just to ride make him. A saddle. Ride them, cowboy. Been a naughty lock's gonna ride you all night. <laughs> Do you like it, Loxy? Do you like it? So am I taking that a bit too far now? Uh let's ask chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right, let's go down. Uh, in the last three worlds, I've started found Yaglet Summon thing, but never Location Stone. I'm starting to think they don't exist anymore. <laughs> What's a Vorvax? Corvax. Corvax is a, a race in the No Man's Sky uh, universe. They're computers. They're like androids. They're Zane, basically. <laughs> um, Saddle. Uh, where do we make the saddle on the workbench or on the forge? No idea. I've never made one. TK's the expert at riding ox. Lock saddle. 20 linen thread? Mother. Oh, you must have 20 linen thread. Yeah, I, I have 15 because I've been going crazy on my stupid eater stuff. Um, flax and barley. Yeah, might be... Little bastard. 
might just have enough. Why is there always bloody Droger elites everywhere I freaking go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. La 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 la. <laughs> and sexy beasts. I'm a gag, by the way, Jan, on my No Man's Sky. The best. But I'm not greedy, I'm just sexy. <laughs> I'm sexy as well, and I know it. Don't give me any archer shit, let me just get in and kill this frickin... Sexy and naughty? <laughs> It's on my other channel, uh, Jan. If you want to check it out, I have another channel, which is uh, the Beeble Bum. Um, but No Man's Sky is No Man's Sky is a, a sci-fi game. Gexal Golden? No, there's only only Golden Gex, and actually, I'm more Golden than Gex. <laughs> But at the moment you are, you're not actually more golden than my actual golden get character. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I, um, <laughs> Beebs was gold, was, uh, he, he copied me, you see. And then, um, so I thought, well, I've got to do something a bit different. And I wanted to start a new save. For, what, which one was it? What was the last update? It wasn't the last one, it was the one before that, I think. Was it, Ori was it Origins? Was that the last one or was that the one before? Before what? The, the No Man's Sky updates. No, we had, we had uh, Waypoint was the last one. So what was the one before that? Was that uh, Origins? Pol Polestar and Endurance. And then Origins. Origins is like two years old. No, it can't be that old. Origins is two years old. I haven't been doing Billy for that long. What's a year ago then? I would have I started Billy. Prison, prison? No, you know. I think you started with Frontiers. Must have been Frontiers then. It would have been whatever a year ago. Uh, well, a year ago, no. Frontier is actually a year and a half, maybe. Hmm. Let me check. only about a year old. Um. Considering he's a year old, I haven't done that many streams. Maybe it must have been younger than that. I'll have to go and have a look. Let me have a look. When was the first stream of Billy? Billy's my geck, by the way. If anybody just wonders that I'm not being odd. Well, I probably am being odd. <laughs> not more odd than usual. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Origins. Origins is September 2020. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, it wasn't then. Um, expeditions, prisms, prisms was 21. Away, um... Frontiers was September 21. So that's a one year and a half ago. Uh, Geoff, you mean, you mean the um, Boulder Haven? Is that what you mean? Actually, I this is like... All built. I built the the rocket so as well. I did uh, not dig out a mountain. People are thinking I dig out a mountain. Actually, built the whole rock. All right. So now, July Black... twenty two, thirteenth of July twenty two was Billy's first stream. Twenty two what? Two thousand and twenty two. Two thousand and twenty two. So, July only... two thousand and twenty two. I actually don't so have dates anymore on this. He's only six months old. Uh, I didn't think I'd be doing it for that long. Uh, 
I do have a whole list of all the updates, so... um. July 22, you started with Endurance. That is with the... Endurance. With the... Um, uh, freighted update. Aha, right, yeah. So yeah, I started a new one in Galaxy 227 just to make it difficult for myself. And it isn't actually that difficult. Right, so now I need 15 black metal and 10 leather scraps. Um, la, 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 la. Can you upgrade the saddle? <laughs> Have stirrups and spurs and well you use less i mean it would be good to have like a saddle that is better so you use less stamina on your locks i need to i need to do some uh flux so i can have some more linen threads all right so i got my saddle uh i should sleep is like misty it's really weird yeah i know but still it would be good that you could upgrade your saddle and it just gives you like these extra plus no how many people are gonna ride that locks until they skill 100 that sounds so bad but I agree with you, though. Uh, the more you ride, the better you're at it. <laughs> That's what she said, anyway. Is it going to be night? Yeah, of course it's going to be night when I get out of the crypt. Just can have a... Frickin' Wraith come and... Cook, cook. Hello! In the face. Kick a boo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, now... Um, the question is gonna be... I have a feeling we could actually take these poles... Yeah, of course, we can take these poles away. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to make my turn with that locks. My polar way. Just gonna smack my head against the line there. Also, I want something to do with this bloody troll hide. I get fed up of having so much of it. Even Brian's got like nearly a chest of it. That's Brian. Wait, are there now three locks on top here? No. Wait, I had four locks, no? Did I not have four locks in here? So they've eaten one, turned into cannibals. Well, uh, what? I'm sure I had four locks in here. How the... Which one's hiding? He's got out through that small hole. <laughs> well, I just opened this hole, so... Ah. 
I have no idea. What? They shouldn't be able to despawn either because you're there. Well, they are tamed, so they shouldn't disappear as well. Log out, log back in again, see if he comes back. Like No Man's Sky. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, that should be wide enough. That's what she said. Um... Uh, Use skill improved riding one. Sorry, I um, one thing I did the other earlier, Beebs, is I, I play, um, I had a load of uh, redeems from um, like items and stuff in Dying Light 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling this locks is wider than I expect it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, push him. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to shut that off. How are you going to shut that off? Shut what off? Right, put what are you going to put behind him? Okay. I think you need to make it wider. <laughs> yep. The good thing is I do have enough iron for it, so... Wait, you no, cannot... No, you don't need to make it wider, Beebs. It's just the wood that's poking out to, that's preventing him from going in. The iron looks fine. Oh, yeah, come on. Let's ride that locks. <laughs> okay, so this is... It's not the wood, it's the... See, it's... Stuck on the... Oh, yeah, the wood isn't. Yes, no. Sorry, from the other side, it looked like it was the wood was sticking through the iron. Perhaps he doesn't want to go on there because he doesn't... His feet might go through like a cattle grid. Mm -hmm. You think it does? Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, he doesn't drive backwards. <laughs> you put a, um, put a piece of wood on the floor on top of let's, the iron. Let's, see okay. let's go back now. See if that helps. Do, 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 let's go back inside. So I need to make this wider. You sure it's just because they're not they don't want to walk on it? No no, it's just because it's not wide enough. Because these grills don't count anyway as a they count as a flat piece. Missing requirement again. Always missing requirement. <sighs> the game. I think. I mean, Jan wants me to make a T-shirt about it. I think I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna sell one of these T-shirts to Jan. <laughs> <laughs> missing requirement. <laughs> All right. So. I don't feel like closing this whole thing off again just to widen this thing. Mm, grumble, grumble, grumble. You also might have loads of people coming up to you constantly going asking you what you need. And you'd be so confused until you realise it's because your t-shirt says missing requirement. <laughs> Cling, clong, cling, clong. Uh, all right, so I'm going to have to... I had 
too much stuff in my pockets. Got a canoe in your pocket? Are you just pleased to see me. Okay, let's go down. Yeah, I needed the iron anyway. Um, we won't. I will be streaming tomorrow. I'll explore. I'm, we're not going out for Valentine's Day. I'm. Um, it's just in the UK. Literally, Valentine's Day is the worst day to go out because you will get shit service, shit food, uh, everything else. Because no one wants to be working it. So it's. Um, <laughs> I mean, I I cook. It's not my turn to cook. I don't think anyway. Um, it's a dad's. I think a dad will probably be cooking. But um, I don't know. I'll probably do something. But I will. Um, I think she's not because it's half term. She's um, and she teaches um, tennis like with kids. She's um, not working as much tomorrow. I don't think. So we'll probably just do something during the day. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Either I'm gonna have to build a larger one later, but let's uh, try and see what happens. plan is to do the dream aerial tomorrow and try and get a living frigate because we've now got loads of cash what's this Are these capes, cages approved by Society of Animal Protection? Well, if they can get into my server, they can come and check it out. <laughs> Many locks were harmed in the making of this. Uh... No, you're not gonna... How can I get this to... The Love for Your Locks Foundation is currently investigating. Just close this off again. Let's see if I can just have a small little protection. I thought this crypt was going to be good because it was huge, but I've literally got like about 60, 60 iron. That's it from the whole bloody place. <laughs> we. Absolutely rubbish. I've got literally 60, 72, oh no, 80. 80. Oh no, 36. <coughs> 87. 87. That's. Is that good or bad? What? 87 um, iron from a crypt. 87. So regular. That's it. Okay, regular. All right, let's uh, turn around. No, turn around. Turn around. Dum, 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 Oh, this is one point I need a hoe. Shh, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. I 
just realized I might be out of iron. How am I out of iron now? Did I drop any iron down? Oh no, there's 10 iron here. Okay. This is one um, swamp where I didn't... It's a big swamp. It's got a lot of crypts. It's bone must swamp, but it doesn't have a single turnip. Not a single one. Not a single turnip. No, I oh know. Ridiculous, isn't it? Not a single frickin' turnip. Robin is ready for a ride. the deer spawn or this island or seed is just particularly hot on deer so i got bloody hundreds of the things what you're doing stay All right. Old, old explorer, I expect them to be done by tomorrow. Just close this off. Lying on the ground. A perch. Oh, I think that was a level two pike, you know. How am I losing so much stone somehow? Yeah, it was a level two pike and a perch. The perch was just perching on the edge. <laughs> Damn it. Let's get this iron into that fire and bloody plastic. so weird that this thing doesn't snap there. Yeah. Alright, so closed off. Now let's see if we can close off the wood. Just don't break the wood iron by accident. Don't go breaking my wood iron. I guess I'm gonna have to go down again after this. Yeah, well, let's go down now. Let's go down now. Just, you know, this was planned. Um. Explorer, you got at least 20 hours before my stream. Stop slacking.
Do we have enough stone to fill up this pump? Of course not. So, the uh, uppers are safe again. I'm going to have to figure out a way for food. interesting i didn't realize that fish took priority on the cooking fire over deer meat do they hmm. i think it's right. next always first isn't it then all right so all the wood is gone so now let's um, build a floor platform see where they actually eat from Look at that. They ain't got any room to move. They got lots of room. <laughs> um, I'm just going to close off the bottom there. I just want to be 100% sure. Right, let's see temporary but just be sure that there is nothing sneaking in between here all right so um yeah but you see they just keep on turning around now this one looks on this way so i'll just go and sleep we'll get some barley i turn around in the metal that metal little cage i mean <laughs> They got enough room. They've been turning around already like five times, so it, that's definitely enough room. The only thing I need to have them is to be able to squeeze their babies through the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you just put a cooking spit right below them and some spikes? <laughs> Uh, I need to go back through the other portal so I can get my barley and then go back to this portal for now until I figure this thing out. Uh, cloudberries, yes, they do still work as well. Uh, Plains farm. How much barley do we have in here? Uh, not that much, no, 27. All right, let's go and... Um... Did I, do I have my, no. Ah, do I have this one? Uh, yeah! This is how you harvest them. inside my core wood but when you do that you can't see the freaking wood iron can you is there a way to get to see it uh what were you asking if i put wood iron i want to put wood iron inside the core wood but then you can't see the court the wood iron no, because the cord would hide it. Mm. Um, yes, so... You want to see the wood iron? 
I want to see the wood iron, just so, not not to, eventually. I just want to see the wood iron to be able to know that I'm putting it in the right place. Well, first put the wood iron and then put the cordwood over it later. I know, but that's a pain in my blooming ass. Mm hmm. I'll have to do it that way when I oh, oh, um, listen to the ching 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 as it all breaks. I need to go back now to. My uh, lumber. Hey, Wolfie, good to see you. How are you? Uh, so normally they will drop them behind them, uh, Geoff. So I will most likely have to take a gap out of my stone. Because these logs calves are pretty large. Okay. okay look, look. See? This, this is where you have to walk on. See? Hop, hop. Up, there you go. I knew you could do it. Well, hello. Um, all right, so if I now drop the barley, Wolfie, how you doing? Hello. No. Uh, so I think we need to just drop it right here, maybe. Look, call the barley. It wasn't quite as horrible as I thought it would be putting that in. Let's see if I throw it against the metal. Hey Brian, thank you so much for the subscription and welcome to the B side. Huh? Ah, let's see. Where is your distance? I don't know. You don't want it there? I died, but I didn't. That was alright. I wonder if the trick is going to be to throw the food in the cage instead. That is a quote. Go on, MSG. Wasn't as horrible as I thought it would be, putting it in there. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> There's going to be one of these golden. Locations again. I just need the barley locks. And just sit here, get the barley. Right. Ow! Yes, my roof is blue! My roof is goddamn blue. I don't think I've ever managed to make a roof that's Rob blue. Robin, relax. Relax, Robin. See, now you've made the pen too big. Hey, McAfee, welcome. I, th I think the baby's just going to stay in the pen, you know. Well, this is, uh, that's why it's called research, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very happy that that is blue. 
considering how freaking tall it is. I mean, the other side is probably red still, but yes, it is red. Um, the only thing I need to do, actually, I, if I could move the wood, the iron upstairs, like just to, but I don't have enough iron to do this now. Um, but if I would do, hello. If I would do this, then I move you up here, and then break you and you, and do the same here, like that, and then maybe, Oh my god, what's going on? Okay. Uh, she seems to be calmed down now. I think they might have tried to get the food in the center there, but she cannot reach it. Okay. Um. Electrocute the <laughs> If I would do half, would that be enough to hold them in sight? If I do this... For the little ones, yeah, that would be enough. No, no, we for the cool, large one. They can't walk over it, can they? I mean, this is, we, we are at the end of our stream anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to... If I only could see what I'm doing... I think the trick is going to be, like always, finding the place where they take the food. I'm stuck in the butt of the locks. That is never good. Find yourself in a very sticky situation then. Just need to find a good spot, that's all. Um, trying to feed them indoor is impossible. Vertical gap. Um, maybe, maybe. 
question is, are they going to squeeze themselves through? Nice, that's what I like to say. A completely blue roof all the way along. He rotates, but he doesn't eat. Is he gyrate? Then he can be a giggity locks. That's taken 14 iron just to do the two posts. <laughs> Bug. <laughs> the thing is just, I, what, did you just eat? No. It's to find the perfect location where they want to eat it. Yeah, boars are great with that, because they just eat anywhere. no idea what you're doing i'm trying to build a breeder uh, midnight uh trying riding in position so they're closer to food these locks have no clue about valentine's day <laughs> i have to finish the roof they won't eat and breed so locks inside won't eat i mean the reason why i put them inside is because we want to make sure that they are safe against any raids um In the end, they're you just leave... Uh. To be fair, Beebs, they're locks. They'll probably be fine against any raids. <laughs> I, I don't know how how well they are against Pierce damage. I wouldn't have thought the bats would bother them. Why don't you just put a tiny little hole above them in the, the roof? I mean, we can't just try it. If I just drop food... Well, let, let's, let's break the roof, okay? Break the roof. Break the roof, baby. Ah! You need sunlight, guys, before you're going to do some um, Humpty Dumpty stuff? Hmm? They're clearly yeah. naturists. They like it in the outdoors. They definitely are way more active, that's for sure. Okay, put the hammer away. Damn it. Nope. Can't get it. Don't look. Can't get it up. <laughs> oh, happy. This one ate. 
Did you eat the food from in the chest? You did eat the food from inside. So we need to throw the food inside then. It's right underneath you. Right there. Oh, I... <sighs> it's not good enough. Is it too far? Hmm? It's got cheese on it. Don't like cheese. I can barely reach it. <laughs> yep. He eats from there. Okay. All right, so that's number one. Right. I'll, I'll still try later with the roof then again. Food has to be inside the chest, but it has to be pretty much on the right spot there. Now we just need to wait for... Yeah, it's a... Mm. I still will try a roof, McAfee. I just need to find the spots. If the food has to be inside the cage, then... Or the roof has to be higher. The roof has to be higher. How much, how much space did you have between your locks and the roof? Yeah, but... Guys... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem now. You're gonna poop your babies inside each other's cage, cages now. I did have a one-star boar on this island. Unfortunately, the skeletons thought that they didn't like it. I wonder if I just would put a floor above that. That wouldn't be a roof, but it would still protect them against attacks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Try that. I'll just wait till they, um... Yeah, I need to find the hitboxes, uh, Marek. I need to find the hitboxes where they stand and then see uh, what they need. If, they, if there's anything that they can slide through, then I need to make the gap smaller. All right, guys. It's definitely weird to did all the humping and each and just in each being in a cage, though. No. I took. Uh, I was a long lesson. Sorry for my. All right, your English is good. Um, Your English is better than mine. Uh, simp the, the simple fences worked. Yeah, but they already damaged one of my metal co corners here, so... Um, if they get a little bit uh, active... Long People prehensile... They really are stupid, aren't they? they? They absolutely are some of the most stupid things. They run into my house, and then they run straight off into the water, off my dock. I mean, there's no way they're getting back out of that. Come on, Nessie, Nessie and Robin. Mm. Ah, there's the baby, and there's the bobby. Get back! <laughs> She's got out. 
get back down. All right, so we know now. <laughs> All right, so this cage is not going to work. Metal cages are not working. We need to work with the um, framework. Uh, can I have my saddle on this? Um... I suppose what you'll have to try and do is make it so. So is it the fact they need the open skies? Uh, is that a fact? Is that a definite factor? <laughs> Interesting answer. Alright, so we now know we need to figure this out. The first fucking hell. I'm 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 wondering if I actually need the cage. You know what I mean? I just have a floor. They're not going to go off, are they? If they cannot walk away, they'll probably walk over the blooming iron beams. Wouldn't would surprise me, to be honest. <laughs> Tightrope walking locks. <laughs> da, 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 da. Look at my trick. Look what I can do. <laughs> Somebody is attacking my boat. Oh my look god, out. I'm hearing my boat being. <laughs> but look how cute those little. Oh, are yeah, I, can, I think we can say goodbye to my boat. So the Seekers found it. Most likely. And I have no door. Hot for Dom stop jumping down without stamina, you moron. My boot! It's not uh, Seekers, though. It's... <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Let's see how much I laugh after this. Oh, it's goblins. I did want root armor, but I don't want root armor that much. Good thing is I have quite some iron nails, so I can build my boat again. I have not seen uh, seekers on a plane, though. Did you come across? Is that like snakes on a plane? <laughs> yeah. What the frick? Alright, so we'll work with the, the frames later. I'm not going to do it now because we already passed the... I tried core wood and wood walls and normal pieces, nothing worked but fences. I got it all back. I got it all back. Got the wood, the iron. I'm out for revenge.
They need an opening to look at. Ugh. Actually, it's uh, it's not really about the opening. It's more about the location where they are positioned at. Uh, same with the chickens. If you saw my guide, not my guide, if you saw my stream about chickens, you can actually control how they look by removing pieces of the floor. So, um, don't push me down. We don't seem to be walking on the beams, though, it seems. They do like to push me off. They, they must have done this on purpose, the fact that you can make a... Um, if you stand on top of the crypts, the um, abominations can't hit you. Dance around the circle, la 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 la. La 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 <laughs> so i'm gonna break the metal let's get them down let's see how much fun you have of that little piece there oh no help my hammer broke Haha, <laughs> 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 two-star draugr last time you thought you could beat me. This time I've got a banded shield. You can't fucking hurt me. Whee! Right. I should better make my abomination helmet now. Which would be awesome. So, they did stand on these beams. But only if you... Give him that option. To share one. So if I would do uh, this, this could be enough to keep them in there. No. Oh, I see. So you think you can just use the beams just to crosswise? And uh huh. Just... Hmm. That would certainly be good for the breathing because otherwise they'd, then they'll just fall straight through. Um, because I think even, I've been not been experimenting with it, but I think you can actually make a board farm with just having them standing on a pillar. On <laughs> <A> pillar. <laughs> you sure you're not trying to make a circus? Hmm? Getting boars doing tricks on pillars. You'll have a lox riding a unicycle soon. Well, this is a very good fishing spot for not actually having to fish. 
They clearly don't want to live. Uh, like that. And then I think I built my cage on us like this. With an opening on this side with a floor on that. Um... What's your Discord? Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as you say Discord, uh, Stream Elements is like, Oh, you want to see the Discord? Here you go. That cape does prove the word. It's weight in gold. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely for sure. The cape is... Uh, that it is one danger with this cape. If you start a new game. <laughs> yeah, or you switch back to Brian, who doesn't have a cape. Mm, like... Um, what is going on? I'm falling way quicker than normally. Yeah, you go. I can believe I can fly. I can. I believe I can die. Okay. Oh, I believe that I can die already. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is an absolute knobhead. He has no idea of the concept of death. Did I leave some iron at the other place down in the... Um, I think so. No. Oh my god. You shitting me. Huh? You need ten roots, don't you, to make a... Why have I only got nine roots? Because you probably got a trophy. No, I didn't get a trophy. I must have got four roots once and five yeah, yeah. the next. So yeah. I need... <laughs> oh, I need one more to make... Frickin' helmet, don't I? Because I think that's ten. Or is it... Well, I'll have to have a look. Maybe it's not. Yeah! No. Okay. <sighs> See, we can use some effect it's ten. Um... The buildings, or where? No, buildings is good, uh, Jaeger. There is a, there is a section for um, Valheim. It's Got only it. ten. You need ten of the fucking things. Either that, or I just didn't pick one up. One of the ones that dropped. Can no, you, drop you can four? Yeah, yeah, you can get four, but it could be that you didn't pick up the trophy because normally if you drop four, you normally have a trophy. Yeah, I didn't, didn't definitely didn't get the trophy. I'm, I'm fairly certain there wasn't anything else though when I, when I did kill that one. One. Oh. That's what I say. Gonna bloody Did make some frost potions though, so at least Brian can go into the mountains at some point. Right, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get these out now. It's time for experimenting! Um, can I take... Damn it. <clears throat> I know what Brian needs to do. He needs to turn his turnips. <laughs> my keyboard is in the... Uh, my, on the locks? On what? Did so his turnips, naughty boy. Huh. Get out, get out, get out. We 
you know you can you know you want to <laughs> all right can i build what i'm riding no Uh, grab your belt and pick one up. Grab your belt, what? Where did you... You're so good at lifting your legs when you're attacking me. Why can you not lift your legs now? Hmm? Scottish locks. Does seem to be keeping on looking in that direction. Eh? <laughs> uh, I need to throw it on the beam. Uh -uh. Stay still. Well, what are you doing now? Bye. I wish I could just pick it up again. Just give me a opportunity to just pick up something that I dropped. Go away. That stupid hop on that ladder is such a stupid thing. Yeah. That is my least favorite thing. Um, 
Is there um, anything else you can do with wolf meat other than wolf skewers? Is that uh, it? And uh, wolf jerky. Wolf jerky. <laughs> what do you need for wolf jerky? So I've got some wolf honey, meat, but... honey and um, wolf. Onion, I'm guessing. No, honey and wolf, just I think. Hmm, because I can't make that, even though I've got the wolf meat. So maybe you need to have to find the onion before it'll unlock. But that. did did you how what is your your um? Uh, Odin's your skill level two. Ah, uh, you might not have. You, I think you might need level three. What is level three with a cauldron? Um. Um, butcher's table. Uh, and then you have the spice rack and the butcher table. The spice rack, but I haven't got the long cooking spit. Maybe that's what it is. No, cooking spit doesn't give an upgrade. Because I haven't got anything else as an option to build yet. So you need spice rack and butcher's table. I don't think you have uh, black metal yet, so that's going to be... Butcher's table is silver, by the way. I did pick up some black metal because I killed a couple of fuelings, but I haven't smelted it, so maybe that's what it is. <laughs> so I've got the... That's odd, because I haven't even got the... Um... I'm obviously... Ah, it's because I haven't got silver yet, that's what. It is it unlocks with silver, doesn't it? Yes, butcher, butcher's table is silver. That's why then. So I'm gonna have to find silver. Well, it definitely doesn't fall down, so that's already one certainty. He doesn't look too comfy though, does he? Well, comfortable is for the moment the least of my worries. But how is he breeding if there's another one if there's not another one up there? I'm not trying to get him to breed, I'm trying to see if I can get him to just to eat. The thing is, he cannot ro I did it just nah, he's still hungry. So I might have to uh change this one here to a beam like that. But still, it's going to be an issue. Need raw fish for anything. Black marble unlocks the uh, Mortland pestle, which is, you know, pretty risky for Brian. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be going there yet. Um, raw f what do you need raw fish for? Do, you, is, do they have a sushi? What fish is that? Wraps? Fish, fish rapture. wraps. Use, they use cooked fish, don't they? Uh, Maybe. I don't think there's anything that uses raw fish. I don't know anymore. If you need raw fish or cooked fish, I don't know. Uh, the pit is way too small and needs an opening to the side. Yeah, Jaeger, by the way, I am I already know a uh, pretty workable um, breeder, which pff, works. I've seen a few of them. I'm just trying to find other solutions and solutions where, you know, things work a little bit better. Uh, yeah, one I know you have to have raw fish to make cooked fish. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get that much. Brian isn't that stupid. He's pretty stupid, but he's not that stupid. He's that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, to be fair, Brian is an absolute twat, so... I swear he has worse RNG than I've ever had on any other character. Yeah, cooked fish. I thought it was. It's just there doesn't seem to be any use for just cooked for raw fish. So it's kind of like, what's the point in having that as something you have to make in the cauldron? Which seems weird anyway. Like, you catch a fish, surely you, that is raw fish. If you've just got a caught fish. Well, you need to prepare your fish. You can't, I mean... 
it's more like you're not really cooking it you're like preparing it so you're, you're um, filleting it and taking off the anyway let's close off i think we're gonna close off the stream uh, i need some stone so yeah that was um the research so far not much productive Activity, not much uh, results but I mean we, we understood a little bit more of the um, positions where they can stand on yeah I mean at least you know now that they can't you don't need to build up the you don't need so much iron or anything and that locks will mysteriously spontaneously combust just yeah, punish. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I lost one lock somehow. I know no idea how that happened. <sighs> Do a coal. I just picked up some bloody coal, you twat. How much closer do I need to stand to get the stone cutter there? No? Um, <clears throat> doesn't matter anyway. I, if I leave, there's not going to be any attacks anyway on this place. We should be okay. All right, let's uh, leave away, leave this place. Figures I would be here at these all ends. Always the VOD time difference and all. <laughs> she bugged herself outside and is now on the map. Uh, since when? Because they did fix that, no? They, didn't they say they fixed it? I mean... I saw uh, Jade had the same during his uh, stream. Um... Oh, my boat is still there. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to call the night, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I it's hope... Been, uh, been a bit I hope. fun. Uh, Gek is streaming tomorrow, you said? I'll be streaming, yeah, um, Billy Blue Gek tomorrow with uh, No Man's Sky. Okay, all right. Doing the dream Ooh. aerial. <clears throat> Um, I might be streaming tomorrow on Ravenheim, but I'm, I, like I said, I'm not promising these for the moment, because I always have a lot of stuff to do. But if I do have time, if I have like, uh, you know, two or three hours, I will kick off a stream on Ravenheim, do some building. Um, on the, uh, on the house there. I did get some iron and silver, so we good there. Um, is there anybody streaming Valheim now? I doubt it. Nick Rockliffe is streaming. If you want to see some uh, speedrunning. Uh, the thing is, he is not going to be subscribed to me. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to raid him. Um, let's see if I can add him to my list or not. Redirect, search. Nope, he didn't add me, so... Um... Alright guys, I'm going to be closing off. Have a good one, thank you all for joining. Thank you all for the uh, likes as well, really appreciate that. Uh, um, what was the name again? I forgot. Um, 
Mum, Sergeant Mum, thank you so much for the membership as well. Really appreciate that. And I will see you again very soon for another um, Valheim stream. Uh, we will be back for sure on Saturday. And Thursday, I am back for No Man's Sky. Uh, let me just quit out of the games just to be sure that we don't get a raid. Um, <clears throat> but uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate you all jumping in. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.